Welcome. In this video we will learn how to install and commission the Hager 8300 Low Energy Auto Operator in a push side application. Open the box. Remove the operator and the small box containing the arm. Open the small box and remove the arm as well as the components. You will need to have the following tools available. Precision screwdriver, pencil, ratchet, socket extension, 3 8 socket, 10 mm socket, 13 mm socket, 6 mm hex wrench, 5 mm hex wrench, 4 mm hex wrench, tape measure, electric drill, drill bits. Remove the four screws that hold the cover onto the backplate using a 4 mm hex wrench. The installation packet can be found inside the operator. Unplug the three-way toggle switch input and the AC power input. Using a 5 mm hex wrench, loosen the four screws that hold the drive motor onto the backplate. The screw with the grounding wire must be fully removed. The three other screws can be slid in the track out of the way. Slide the drive module towards the center of the backplate and remove the drive module. The drive module has two keyholes on the back with a mating alignment screw on the backplate that allows for single person installation and quick spindle alignment. The door prep varies based on operator size, frame type, and arm type. Door prep drawings are provided in the installation packet. Measure and mark the two lower and outermost holes on the frame per the required door prep drawing. The mounting screws provided are self-drilling, however Hager recommends drilling pilot holes for easier installation. If you pre-drilled two installation holes, you can install two mounting screws with a ratchet and 3 8 socket. Otherwise, you can install the screws with a high-speed drill and a 3 8 nut setter. With the backplate fully installed, reinstall the drive module by aligning the keyhole and alignment screw and sliding the drive module towards the hinge jam. In our installation, the drive module will be installed with the I.O. board towards the hinge jam. Fix the drive module with the four mounting screws that were previously loosened using a 5mm hex wrench. See provided installation instructions for your required orientation. Reconnect the three-way toggle switch in the AC power input, but do not power the unit up at this point. The operator is now installed, and it is time to prep and install the arm. Disconnect the primary and secondary arms using a 4mm hex wrench. Loosen the four screws with a 4mm hex wrench. The secondary arm has a telescopic adjustable length. Adjust the length per the installation instructions and re-tighten the four screws. Next, prep the primary arm. Insert the spindle screw into the spindle, then attach the spindle to the primary arm with the two provided screws and a 4mm hex wrench. Using the door prep drawings, measure and mark the arm shoe location on the door. The door shoe screws are self-drilling and can be installed with a ratchet and a 10mm socket or a 10mm nut setter in a high-speed drill. The primary arm is installed with approximately 10 degrees of preload. The primary arm requires a 6mm hex wrench to attach it to the drive module. Attach the secondary arm to the door shoe using a 13mm socket and a 4mm hex wrench.
Attach the primary and secondary arms using a 4mm hex wrench and the screw previously removed. Verify the device operates manually. The device has mechanical stops that can be adjusted if desired. After the device is fully installed and operates mechanically, a certified electrician should connect the AC power unit. Ensure the AC power switch is on. The switch should illuminate. Dip switch 5 should be on for low energy operation. Adjust all other dip switches as required per your installation needs. The yellow LED on the adjustment board indicates that there are setting changes that have not been saved. Press SW1 on the adjustment board to save the setting and turn off the yellow LED. To begin the calibration cycles, press and hold SW1 on the I.O. board. The red LED on the adjustment board will begin to flash. When the red LED starts flashing, release SW1. The door will start to swing. Ensure that there is not a latching device that will prevent the door from opening. You can program a soft stop manually by simply placing your foot in front of the door at the desired automatic stopping location. The door will complete two full cycles. During these cycles, the operator is calibrating the door weight, close stop location, and open stop location. Do not impede the door during these two cycles. After the second cycle, the operator is calibrated. Remove the required input terminals and wire the ADA actuator and any other required devices to the operator. Test the operator with all installed actuators. If the device operates as desired, you can now install the cover with the previously removed screws and a 4mm hex wrench. Don't forget to install the Hager branding sticker to show pride in your newly installed low energy auto operator. Please visit hagerco.com for more information.